Google just shocked the entire world and caught everyone off guard with their new release of Nano Banana Pro that can create images so realistic that it's literally impossible to tell it was created with AI. You can now be the main character of any scene you can dream of. You can be a guest on Joe Rogan, Box Floyd Mayweather, or even have a meeting with the president. In this video, I'll show you how to access Nano Banana Pro and use it to create images like this. I was granted early access and have played around with it for about a week now. And as someone who's running faceless YouTube channels for a living, this tool has been a game changer for the images I use in my videos. But now that it's released for anyone to use, I can finally show you what you can do with this tool and why it's in my opinion without a doubt the most powerful AI image generator out there. Nano Banana Pro is built on Gemini 3 Pro Image, which is why it's so much better than the prior model. Basically, they took everything people were already doing with AI images and made it 10 times better and easier to use. No on to the reason why you're actually watching this video, what can this thing actually do? The simple version is that it's an all-in-one engine that can create literally anything you want without needing a crazy prompt while it's giving you a crazy amount of control. It can create images of you in any situation you could dream of, create accurate text, realistic UI, infographics and images in 4K quality. And this is just a tiny bit of what you can do with this thing. To access this new model, you want to start off by heading over to higgsfield.com and sign up for an account. They have pretty much every AI model out there like so instead of getting 10 different subscriptions and spending hundreds of dollars per month, I have access to all different AI models like Kling, Sora, and most importantly, Nano Banana Pro, all in this one tool. Not only will you have access to every AI model out there in one place, but it's also, as you can see here, the cheapest alternative on the market. So if you want to follow along this video, you'll find a link to it in the description. Once you've signed up for an account, you want to click on this button to access the model. As you can see, you have a prompt box in the button where you describe what you want to create. And I want to start off with my favorite feature. If you've ever tried creating AI images with accurate faces, you know that it can be a real pain in the ass to make it look realistic. But with this new Nano Banana model, you can literally create realistic images of any person you like without even having to use a reference image or some overly advanced prompt. I'm a big podcast guy, and one of my favorite shows is The Joe Rogan Experience. And last week, he actually sent me an email asking if I wanted to come on his show talking about faceless channels. Nah, I wish, but if all of you hit the subscribe button, this channel might grow so big he actually invites me on. However, with Nano Banana Pro, I can create a realistic image of me being on Joe Rogan in less than a minute. Start off by uploading an image of yourself by clicking on this plus button and enter a prompt saying, create an image of me being a guest on the Joe Rogan experience sitting down having a fun conversation with Joe Rogan. Now make sure it's set to the right model and choose an aspect ratio. I'll go with 16 to 9 for this one. Next, click on this button with a little diamond on it and you'll be able to choose between 1K, 2K, and 4K quality. And since I want a crispy image of me and Rogan, I'll go with 4K. Now hit generate and in only a few seconds it will generate an image that looks something like this. As you can see the result is crazy realistic. Everything from faces, the details, and even the text in the background is accurate, which is something I'll get back to later. But I'm also a big tennis fan, and it has always been a dream of mine to meet Roger Federer, so let's try to add him into the conversation. To do this, I'll just enter the same prompt and add Roger Federer to the end of the prompt. After generating it, I created this image. If it weren't for the fact that most people know I have no business at all being on a podcast with these two, I'd probably be able to fool 99% of people into thinking this image is real. But now that we've added the goat of tennis, why not add another goat? into the conversation by adding Michael Jordan into the prompt. And just like that, we have an image of me sitting down with some of the greatest athletes to ever live. Notice how it didn't need any reference images or anything. It knew exactly what these people look like in the slightest detail. For example, the studio looks like Joe Rogan's studio does in reality. Michael Jordan is wearing his own logo, and Federer is wearing a classy Rolex. Let's do another one. I've always wondered what it would be like to be the President of the United States. So let's upload an image of myself and enter a prompt saying, create an image of me sitting inside the Oval Office, signing an executive order with the press taking pictures. I'll just keep all the other settings the same and hit generate. And just like that, I'm the most powerful man in the entire world. As you've noticed by now, there's really no limit to what you can create with this thing, and you can create images of the most absurd situations you could think of. But this is just the tip of the iceberg, because if an image is not enough, you can even turn it into a real-life video. If you click on one of the images you've generated, you'll see this button that says Video. Click on it, and you'll be taken to this video generator page. Let's go with Kling as our video generator model and enter a prompt saying, create a video of these four people having fun on a podcast together. It'll then turn the image into a real life video of us talking to each other. However, these images are not showing the full effect of what you can do with the 4K feature. So let's create something that
that looks a bit more professional. I'm not a prompt engineer, but I managed to come up with this prompt of a fisherman with quite a lot of details in it, like face textures, clothes, and camera angle. So let's set the quality to 4K again and generate it. As you can see on this image, you really get the full effect of the 4K feature, and you can literally see every little texture in this man's face. I played around a little with the prompt and generated a similar image of an elderly woman, and it turned out with the same ultra high quality. So far, we've only created real life photos, but that's actually just a fraction of what you can do. I'm running multiple faceless channels, and the most important common visuals I use for these videos are screenshots and screen recordings, which literally takes forever to create. But if you just know how to prompt correctly, you can actually create and design screenshots with this tool. Let me show you an example. Here's an image of my channel, and I'm doing pretty good for myself. We have 12,000 subscribers and quite a good amount of views. But I'd just like to take a look into the future and see what my channel would look like with a million subscribers and millions of views on my videos. So I uploaded a screenshot of my channel and entered a prompt saying, create a UI image of my YouTube channel, showing that I have over 1 million subscribers and millions of views on my videos. Now hit generate, and it will create an image that looks the exact same. But if you look closely, you'll see I now have 1.2 million subscribers and millions of views on my videos. Let's do another one and enter a prompt saying, create an UI image of a search inside Google Trends, showing the popularity over the past five years of the keyword AI tools. As you can see, the interface is spot on to what Google Trends look like without even having to upload a reference image. If you look closely, you'll also notice every single text box is accurate. If you've ever tried creating images with text with other models, you know what a shit show that can be. However, the most important part about this image is this graph showing that the keyword AI tools is at its all time high in popularity. Because right now, we're going through a shift and everyone has a big decision to make. Either you ignore AI and miss out on potentially the biggest opportunity to make money since the internet came around, or you learn how to use these tools and gain a skill set that can potentially make you set for life. I post videos about how to use tools like this all the time, so if you want to learn more about how you can leverage them to make money and be more productive, I actually have a free community with over 7,000 members where I teach this stuff every single day. In there, you'll also get access to assets, prompts, and all the secret golden nuggets I can't fit into these videos. So click the link in the description and join the fastest growing AI community out there. Anyway, speaking of being able to create accurate text, you can push this thing even further. So let's try to create an image with a bunch of text, for example, a magazine cover. I entered a prompt saying, create a magazine cover for the Washington Post with a headline saying, learn how to use Nano Banana Pro or be left behind on the biggest opportunity of the century. And it nailed it spot on. The logo is in the actual Washington Post font. The text is accurate and the image it chose makes sense. I've literally been using this tool every single day for the past week, and it has already saved me hundreds of dollars I would have needed to spend on freelancers. So again, if you want to try out Nano Banana Pro for yourself, head over to Higgsfield right now and sign up for an account through the link in the description.